Okay, so a uh, good day, class. I will be your online learning uh, coordinator for this subject, Computer Programming 1. So for this week, we will discuss the introduction uh, to computing and programming. So uh, basically, guys, we will just um, discuss the backgrounds or the different types of programming languages that you may consider using uh, whenever you would like to develop a computerized system. It can also be a website. So some sort of programming languages that are available for you to use. So uh, let's talk about JavaScript first. Uh, basically, this has been developed by this um, I mean, person here or genius uh, person. Um, the characteristics of JavaScript are the following. It is a scripting language. It is interpreted. It is case sensitive. Basically, if you need to write a specific code uh, using a capital letter, then you have to write it that way. If it is, uh, it, or if it should be written um, using all small letters, then you should write the uh, code or that specific code uh, that way as well. It supports single line and multi line comments. So basically, guys, this is one of the most well known programming languages. Okay, so we also have Java that has been developed by James Gusling. Um, this programming language has its own characteristics, of course, which are the following. It is a platform, ind independent and portable. Um, it is a dynamic and extensible language. It is an object-oriented programming language, which means that you will be able to use different uh, objects such as text boxes, comment um, line, something like that. Uh, it ensures extensive security as well, and it supports multi-threading. So uh, we also have another programming language, which is also a very well-known programming language, which is Python. So uh, Python programmers, as well as, of course, Java and JavaScript programmers are uh, in demand in the market nowadays. Uh, so the characteristics of this programming language are the following. It is a free and open source, of course. Uh, it is extensible. It is Im uh, embeddable. And uh, it is an object-oriented programming language as well. It ensures extensive security, which is very important for a programming language. Basically, um, it is also the same with Java. When it comes to the security, you will not have any problem with it, with these programming languages. Um, it supports multi-threading as well. Okay, so it has been uh, developed uh, by this uh, genius guy here, um, Rasam Gido, if I'm pronouncing the name correctly. Okay, we also have um, one of the programming languages that you may consider uh, learning, uh, which is being called Ruby. So uh, this is, or this has been developed by uh, a Japanese guy, Yukihiro Matsumoto. Uh, the characteristics of this programming language is it is also a free and open source programming language. It is a uh, free format. It is case sensitive as well. Uh, only multiple statements in one line require semicolon. This is uh, one of the unique features of uh, Ruby programming language. Keywords are allowed uh, to use as identifiers uh, for this uh, programming language. So we also have, of course, uh, PHP, the same as like what I've mentioned earlier, the same uh, with Python, uh, Python programmers, Java programmers, and JavaScript programmers. PHP programmers are really in demand nowadays. So this has been developed by this um, genius guy as well, uh, Rasmus Lerdorf. The characteristics of uh, this programming languages are the following. It is a server-side scripting language that is, that is embedded in HTML. So basically what it says is that in order for you to develop, uh, because a PHP is uh, for web development. So in order for you to develop a website, you need to have a server-side programming language. So um, you may use PHP for that purpose. Of course, you need HTML. Uh, in order for it. Well, anyways, there are um, lots of components 
that a website should have whenever you would like to develop one. And one of which is, of course, uh, PHP as a server-side programming language. And uh, it is also loosely typed language. It is a real-time access monitoring programming language. It has some uh, predefined error reporting constants, which is one of the um, best features of this programming language, uh, mainly to generate a warning or error notice. So basically, whenever you write a program uh, or you write your program, you will be able to identify uh, the uh, error because of this feature. It provides now docs and here docs string, which of course you will be able to understand uh, how these works whenever you study PHP um, in, I mean, uh, to be specific. Okay, we also have, of course, C++, which is mainly the main programming language that we will be um, learning or studying for this uh, subject, Computer Programming 1. Basically, guys, this is the first programming language that we may study in order for us to build a um, good uh, foundation of our programming uh, skills. So uh, it is an object-oriented programming language. It has a huge function uh, library. It is a machine-independent language, and it is suitable for development of reusable software. So for those programming languages uh, like Java, um, uh, C Sharp, and other programming languages, uh, they were uh, developed and uh, they, uh, those developers use C++ as their role model in developing those programming languages. So this has been developed uh, by Jarn Sarstrup, if I'm pronouncing the uh, name correctly. Okay, so we also have C Sharp. So um, basically, guys, a C Sharp has been developed, um, again, uh, in order to... Um, improve the functionality of C++ programming language. Together with, of course, uh, Java, uh, this has been developed uh, for that specific purpose. It is an object-oriented uh, object program, uh, programming language. It supports data encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism, um, and interfaces. It cannot perform unsafe casts like convert double to Boolean, something like that. Well, we'll be able to understand that once uh, we try to um, write or learn C Sharp programming language to be specific. It also includes native support for the COM and Windows-based applications. And this has been developed by this um, genius guy here. Anders uh, Hedges uh, Berg, okay? And we also have the Go programming language. Uh, the characteristics of this programming language is the, uh, are the following. It can be used for web development, mobile development, and application development. It supports concurrency at the language level. It has a built strings and maps. It com uh, compiles into machine code. So uh, those are the characteristics of this programming language. We also have shell, all right? So uh, the characteristics of this programming language are the following. It has a wildcard substitution in file names. It gives an alias name to a command or phrase. It automatically produces a list of file names on a command line using pattern matching uh, characters. And uh, it also store data in user-defined variables and predefined shell variables. So uh, basically, those are the uh, characteristics of this programming language. And of course, we do have the C programming or objective C programming language. So these are the characteristics of this. It is a superset of C, but it can also understand and call C++ code. So basically, guys, it has been um, developed to improve uh, C programming language. And aside from that, um, it can also understand uh, C++ codes, all right? It has a dynamic uh, runtime. Um, it has expressive message syntax. 
So when we talk about syntax, basically we are talking about um, your programming codes in general. It is used um, to Apple or for Apple technologies. So this has been developed um, specifically for Apple devices or Apple products. Uh, it is also introspection object or introspection object is easy for this programming language. And it has been developed by uh, this uh, genius guy, Brad Cox. And basically, guys, those are the uh, main programming languages that we should be aware of. And uh, those programming languages are also the programming languages that you may consider using whenever you would like to write or uh, develop your own, uh, let's say, website, or any computerized automated system. So that's all for today for module one. Thank you so much for listening. I hope that I will still be able to see all of you uh, next meeting. Basically, we will discuss more about programming language or programming languages to be specific C++. Thank you and have a good one.